from Tyron Young says, question, isn't culture passed down from your elders? So when the elders failed us, our culture became fraudulent. Well, my elders didn't fail me. My grandfather should stand up for what's right, even if you got to die for it or if you got to kill somebody for what's right, you have to do it. And I later found out he and his brother, my great uncle, wound up murdering two deputies down in Louisiana who participated in a lynching of another brother, one of my great uncles. All right. My father was a stand up guy, always said, fight when you have to stand up for what's right. Deal with getting your mind together and be a man above all costs. My mother said the same thing. Don't you come up being any damn sissy. You be a man. All of my grandparents told me that and all of my relatives told me that. Deal with being a leader and deal with responsibility. I didn't have anybody letting me down on culture. Um, Oh, hell no. Video Council says, thank you, Dana, for this. Culture and history are intertwined. Everyone on the planet has a history. Africa is the origin of the Black race, and that's where Black culture should originate from. Video Council, again, i like to hear the judge take on Africa how Africa is the... Africa. I'm trying to read the comments. Africa is the origin of white yes, culture, we know that. Asian Let culture, everybody. Let me finish. Okay. Video Council says, I'd like to hear the judge take on how Africans and African Americans can work together to strengthen global Black culture because I believe our time is best spent discussing the solutions. That's for you, Judge. I give you an answer. Okay, right now, Africa needs to listen to the two young men who are going to be high prince and king of Swaziland and listen to their program about dealing with at least a cultural situation, relying upon avenues of acquiring money and setting up some militaries that can kick some ass because nobody on this planet Earth gets any respect if they don't have somebody in their background that kicks some ass. The Zulu are respected and studied in military academies all over the world. Build on what they have to offer and listen to them. Um, We uh, are the apex predator on the planet. We admire and glorify abilities to kill. And if you don't have any ability to kill, the rest of the world treats you like you ain't shit. I said not history. If you listen, I said the African nations need to take the leadership from the two young men that are going to be running the Zulu nation down in southern Africa. That's point one. Next thing Black Americans need to take advantage of this educational system over here and start getting deep into STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, because we don't offer Africa a damn thing going back there trying to fantasize about subsistence farming on a Neolithic level that they don't need because they know how to do it. They need to get their military act together They need to get their financial act together so they can do something with those enormous resources that they have. And we need to figure out what the hell to do educational wise by taking advantage of the educational opportunities here so we can give them some guidance in science, technology and engineering so they don't have to turn to the People's Republic of China to get it. That's what we can do. Now, your friend. That was my plan. Thank you. Your friend, Big J, he sends in another Super J. He says, and in capital letters, if Ike Turner was a real man, he says, when, why? Oh, my God. If Ike Turner was a real man, why would a man point a gun at a woman and his own son? Explain that. Okay, honey, are you looking, are you referencing the movie? The movie's full of shit. You know what my pimp client Did I said? Did I turn to ever point they a gun sh- at, at Tina and his son? Hell no. That's mm-hmm. some Hollywood bullshit. And the one that everybody thought killed that woman that supposedly committed suicide in the movie were the pimps in Memphis who said Tina would pop a cap on one of her tricks or a hoe in a minute. She wasn't a prostitute. She was a pimp. Allegedly. Um, 
Teron Young says, see, judge went off about what his elders did for him. Well, what about those born after 89? You can't tell me those elders are the same. 89, as that's, I agree. You got a problem. <laughs> you have a problem. I see something, though. I want, you uh, got a real problem. Hey, let me see this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. One second, receive. Is that C-I-E or C-E-I? R-E-C-I-E -E or R-E-C-E-I for receive? I before E except after C. <laughs> <laughs>